own home. Jefferson's eight-year-old nephew said that he and his aunt were playing video games inside her house around 2.30 a.m. That's when they heard noises outside the house. Officers responded to a call from a neighbor that Jefferson's door was open. Jefferson's nephew said that she took her handgun and pointed it toward the window before she was shot. Omar Villafranca has been following the story from Dallas. Omar, what's been the reaction from the community in the aftermath of Jefferson's death? Well, Rita, we saw a little bit of it last night. But first, let me give you a scene center here. We're here at a church that's really in this neighborhood. Rep. Kim Tatum and several pastors uh, are still here. They're talking to the media. They've basically been saying that they no longer trust the Fort Worth Police Department. They don't think the Fort Worth Police Department follows their own protocols, and they're asking for federal investigators to come in and look at the police department because they feel even though the officer, Aaron Dean, has been charged with murder, they don't think that this is going to change the way the Fort Worth police police the area at all. Uh, and they're still not confident that they're going to get a murder conviction. We'll have to see, of course, what happens as the court plays out. Last night, there was a Fort Worth City Council meeting, and it was packed, and it did get a little heated. Let me give you uh, a little taste about what some people were saying uh, when they went up to the podium. Hey, Price, this is an emergency that will require much more than a letter that says all the right things and tells the citizens of Fort Worth how they need to react. You mentioned that we need to provide Tay's nephew with anything he needs. He needs his aunt alive. He needs to not have witnessed her murder. He needs the city he lives in to be equitable and just and safe from poorly trained, scared, racist police officers. We demand non-police response teams for welfare checks and mental health calls. Justice will require admitting, justice will require admitting to systemic racism within our city and within all of your offices. Just a little bit of what was echoed here uh, at this press conference in Fort Worth at this church. Another big thing that they're saying is uh, they don't feel that there's an accountability system within the Fort Worth Police Department backed up by the city of Fort Worth. Matter of fact, Mayor Betsy Price, the next day after that shooting, came out to the neighborhood. Uh, she said she wanted to listen to people who were there in the community upset. They immediately started basically telling her, lock him up. That, 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 that being Officer Aaron Dean at the time because... He was not. Uh, we didn't know who he was, but we know he was not arrested. He was just on administrative leave. Uh, and it wasn't until yesterday that we, of course, uh, learned that he had gone into jail and he had bonded out. And Omar, what's the latest on the investigation at this point? Uh, but, well, yesterday we just received the uh, arrest warrant affidavit, and they basically told us a little bit of the police perspective uh, of what they say happened. Uh, there was somebody who did talk to Zion, the eight-year-old nephew, and as you mentioned earlier, that he said that she heard something outside. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. They went in, and she went and grabbed her gun from her purse, legally owned gun. And let's be honest, for people who aren't familiar, this is Texas. This is Tarrant County, Texas. There are guns all over the place here. Uh, especially down here in the south and in Texas. She heard somebody outside her window at 2 a.m. saw a flashlight. She didn't know what it was. She grabbed her gun, and he shot her through the window. Uh, and apparently she dropped down there and, and passed away. So people are also questioning that narrative. Why was he not following protocol? The call came into a non-emergency line as a open door. The man who called was saying, I'm a little concerned about them. The doors are open. It's 2 a.m., um, People thought that was a welfare check, but we actually got the audio from dispatchers to police officers to go to the scene, and it was not uh, dispatched as a, as a welfare check. It was an open door in a building call. Now, we talked to a former Fort Worth police officer who says, that doesn't mean you come with the cavalry. Um, she was telling us that she, she said common sense would have been you go up to the open door, you announce yourself, hey, Fort Worth police, everybody okay inside? And the family and that officer are saying, had they done that, they would have been like, oh, yes, we're okay. And they, they said that that could have avoided this whole issue at all, and that woman would still be alive. Mm -hmm.